the most important skill that you can have in in the work world, in the business world, and in life is l- knowing how to observe people and not be so wrapped up in yourself and be outer directed. Mm. So when you're in a situation like you've entered a job for the first time, your tendency is to be all insecure and think, did I say the wrong thing? Am I doing, am I dressing correctly? Am I fitting in? And you're not observing, you're thinking about yourself, mm. right? And the whole game is to be observing. It's like you're observing the, the world, the, the different games that are going on, what people are doing, what they're like, what their tastes are like, what the boss is like. There are all these levels of power going on. Mm. You want to get outside of yourself and simply observe, right? And not be thinking about yourself as much. And if you become a really good observer of people, which is something that I developed over all of these different jobs that I had, I wasn't necessarily the best uh person figuring out the game but I was very observant about people and their nature and their flaws and such if you become an astute observer of the people around you you will have this the game will be much easier to to manage right you will know this is a person who is insecure I cannot offend them I cannot say the right the wrong thing to them this is a person who's strong and secure I want to be with them I want them to mentor me that they can you know you want to be able to take criticism from other people Mm -hmm. in other words be less insecure and be more a kind of outer motivated and paying attention to the people around you. Everything is a sign. So when you're observing, for, another thing is enjoy this aspect of it because it's actually a lot of fun. It's like watching a movie and observing people and understanding them. But everything people do is a sign. So if they're showing up late at meetings or they're not returning your phone calls, it's not some innocent event. It means something. It's coming from some place within them. They're telling you something about themselves indirectly. If their desk is a mess, right, they can't organize their desk, it's a sign of something else going on inside them, Mm -hmm. right? If If they're not returning your phone calls, on and on and on. Every little thing that people do, I sometimes when I read an email, I can sense that there's a little bit of anger as an undertone. You can sense people's tone not just in what they say, but in how they write something, right? There's a lack, there's not this usual kind of polite tone. There's a little bit of a sharpness. There's a word or two that indicates that they're upset, they're angry. Every little thing that people do is a sign. You're not paranoid because it's actually a lot of fun and you're decoding what's going on because people wear masks. They smile and they say, I love your ideas, Cody. You're brilliant. You're wonderful. But inside they're thinking something else. And you have to be able to pick up all of these signs. We frequently believe that our ability to succeed at work is based on our intelligence, our voice, or our appearance. However, the capacity to observe people is a far more potent and frequently underappreciated skill. Your mind is typically introspective when you start a new job. You're worried. Did I say something incorrectly? Do I belong here? Are they fond of me? That self-centeredness makes you blind because you lose sight of what's actually going on around you when you're engrossed in your thoughts. This change from inner-directed to outer-directed attention is important in psychology. Research on theory of mind and social cognition indicates that careful observation, not guesswork, is the key to understanding the intentions, motives, and feelings of others. Each gesture, tone, and response lag conveys a narrative. Everything people do is a sign. A cluttered desk may be an indication of stress or disarray. A delayed response could indicate resentment or avoidance. In person or via email, even the slightest shift in tone can convey annoyance or insecurity. Similar to how a detective reads clues, your brain can learn to decipher these micro-signals. The intriguing thing is that neuroscience backs up this theory. When we observe others, our empathy circuits and mirror neuron system are activated, enabling us to intuitively sense their emotions before they express them. In this context, observation is not passive. You can gain a strategic edge in relationships, leadership, and influence by mastering this active decoding process. Try this the next time you enter a meeting or a conversation. Turn your attention outward rather than inward to consider how you're being seen. Take note of how people come in, how they gaze at one another, how they talk, and how they pause. Because those who watch, those who really see, often know what others don't. 